Mobile access towers and tower scaffolds are a safe way to work at height, but only when the work is planned and supervised properly, and only when the tower is built and used correctly by trained operatives. There will be situations where you're working under a possession. You've got work to do at height, just a few short hours to get it all done, and the tower is a means to an end. Yes, you've got a lot to do. Yes, there are time constraints. Yes, it's tempting to cut corners. And if you're lucky, again, you might even get away with it, again. But what if today is the day your luck runs out? What if you fall from height? What if a colleague falls? What if a member of public is hurt? Unfortunately, we've got examples of all these things happening on network rail sites. You might think it couldn't happen to you. It wouldn't happen to you, but it could. In December 2019, a worker fell from a tower he was climbing at Paddington Station and landed on the track, leaving him seriously injured with fractured vertebrae, ribs and a collarbone. He thought it couldn't happen to him. It wouldn't happen to him, but it did. In the lead up to that incident, CCTV footage showed a series of simple mistakes made by the team involved. In total, there were 17 unsafe behaviours identified, witnessed by 66 people. The outcome, sadly, was a fall from height. In response to that accident and to the other near misses, Network Rail, Pasma and Tazica collaborated on this short video series all about using towers safely in railway environments. We don't want your safety to depend on luck, and it doesn't have to. The videos are a reminder of the key factors involved in working safely with towers, so please watch them carefully. And if you have any questions or concerns about tower safety, speak to your manager or the HSQE team straight away. Please play your part.